Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of A Brain in the Life. Hi, I'm Nakia. Brian here. Uh, this video is actually by request from a lot of people asking to know how we tell our triplets apart. <laughs> Secrets out, we can't. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, our triplets are identical. Yep, and really, really hard to tell apart. Um, right now, I think we're starting to get a few distinguishing features and a little personality that's helping, but nothing that we would use to like 100% tell our girls apart and be confident that we didn't mix them up. <laughs> so we're going to walk you through kind of what we've been using to tell our girls apart. Yep. So first thing was actually a lot of people noticed these. Yeah. Uh, call them braces. Uh, yeah, little brace hospital baby bands. Yeah, hospital baby bands. So these are um, what they were wearing when they were in the hospital, mm -hmm. and it was the way that the hospital used to tell the girls apart. Yeah, and it's got like a soft band on it, and then just like an identifying little card, basically, yeah. for each of them. Uh, so when they came home, we actually kept on using these, these bands, and uh, used them up until basically they got too warm. <laughs> and the, ratty and started falling off. <laughs> yeah, the Velcro wasn't sticking anymore. And they really weren't that um, convenient, we found. They were great in the hospital, but when we got home, we realized changing the girls every three hours, we had to take them off because we were putting them on the outside of their clothes. Um, so we were really having to take them off and put them back on, and sometimes people would forget to put them back on, and then we started losing them. And so we really wanted something that was going to be a little bit more sustainable and a little bit more permanent. So we had to try some different options. All right. Yeah. So the next thing that we tried was some nail polish um, because a lot of people had recommended that we try painting the girls' nails um, and that that would be really helpful. So this is Life with Triplets. There are a couple of issues that we had with using nail polish. Um, we were a little bit concerned about the toxicity, so we found a brand that was toxin-free, um, and it was free of like the 10 major toxins in nail polish. And the other thing was that we didn't want to paint their fingernails because our girls are getting to the point where they're actually starting to put their nails in their mouths, and we didn't want them eating nail polish. So the other recommendation that some of you made was to paint a toenail. So we did do that, um, and we chose some nail polish colors that we thought would be easy to remember um, because we didn't want to use anything and then have to like write down a key, basically. So we did it based on the first letter of their names. So obviously Bella was blue, so she got a little blue nail polish. Um, and then Charlotte was coral because that was the best C that I could come up with. And this was the closest to coral that I could find in this brand. Um, and then Emma was probably the hardest because they don't make an Acru nail polish. So we had to go with either emerald green or eggplant purple. And I couldn't find an emerald green. So we went with an eggplanty kind of purple color. Um, and so we painted a toenail and realized very quickly that there are a couple of issues with that method. Um, it's very hard to paint teeny tiny little toes. Um, it's also very hard to keep those wet teeny tiny little toes off of your fabric, like your bed or their bassinet sheets or their swaddles. Um, so that was a little bit challenging. Hey, Pumpkin. You just waking up? Yeah. Hey, sweetie. You gonna say hi to everybody? Say hi, Bella. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. say hi, baby. Hey. There we go. Somebody's getting hungry. <gasps> hi, Charlotte. Hi, Sweet Pea. You want yours? No, you don't want it. Say hi, Sweet Pea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's waking up. It's about to be a party in here. Um, so those are some of the issues we identified with painting their toenails. The biggest issue though is that we really love these footed onesies. Um, they're just so much easier than putting on multiple pieces. The problem is that their feet are in the feet of the onesies all the time. So it's really hard to keep track of the nail polish that we painted on their toes because we couldn't see them. So <laughs> we went to round three 
And that was um, a really inexpensive option that people recommended, which was these little nylon kind of string bracelets. Um, so I got some nylon string in different colors. We kept the same color palette. Um, and we made just little tiny bracelets for them that we could put on their wrists that are soft. They're very loose. This is the eggplant for Emma. And then Bella had a nice pretty blue. And Charlotte had a pretty, well, pink, but coral. And this actually worked pretty well. Um, but we did notice that because it's a slippery nylon, they sometimes fall off. Um, and we were a little bit concerned that as they grow, um, they might start to tighten down and we didn't want that. Um, and we also wanted something that was going to be a little more hygienic when we like do baths and stuff like that. If it gets wet, we just don't know how well this will do as far as bacterial growth and stuff. So, um, some of our viewers actually recommended that uh, based on some of the families that they follow who are multiples families online, um, that we try on Etsy looking for some of the shops that make these very pretty metal identification bracelets. Um, and so we thought that that was a great suggestion and we actually went online and found um, a cute little shop. It's called Chic and Gold. And I fell in love with just the way that their jewelry is designed. I thought it was very clean. Um, it's very much my style and very easy. Um, we could put their names on them and we also could personalize them with different symbols, which I thought was really nice. So we um, reached out to them, told them we had triplets um, and asked if it'd be possible for them to make three bracelets for us. And they happily obliged. Um, this the bracelets are here, so we got them um, just today, and we're super, super excited to open the pack. We have, I have not even seen them, so you guys are going to be seeing them for the first time with us, but I'm super excited to see what they look like, okay? So, we're going to open this up. The girls haven't seen them. I haven't seen them. Brian hasn't seen them. So, they come in these really pretty boxes. These are so nice. I love the way it's packaged. So we have three of them in here. So all three of them, they're packaged beautifully. So we're gonna open these up. <gasps> Bella, are you excited? Are you excited to get your new bracelet? Oh, look how pretty. So this is Emma's bracelet. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's so pretty. And Emma got a little star next to hers. Um, so if you've seen our gender reveal, you know we did a twinkle, twinkle, little star theme. Um, so we have kind of a sun, moon, and stars theme with our girls. So it comes with the beautiful bracelet, and this is a four inch bracelet. This company was the only one that we found that made bracelets this small, and it's completely adjustable. So we can actually adjust it down because their wrists are very small. They're only about two and a half to three inches. Um, it also comes with this soft kind of microfibery fabric to clean it. Um, oh, this is so pretty. And then it has this really cute little card in it. And it says she is clothed in strength and dignity and she laughs without fear of the future. And it's shegangold.com. So I love the way these are packaged. So let's take a look at the other two. Ooh, Emma, yours is so pretty. Bella's. And Bella's our son. And then Charlotte, last but not least, is our little moon. Awesome. I am so excited about how these all turned out. They're beautiful. I think the quality of the bracelet is wonderful. They're really, really beautiful. These are engraved, um, which I think is gonna do so nicely, um, as opposed to something that's just kind of printed on. It's really, really pretty, really good quality from what I can tell. Um, so we're excited to get these on the girls and we'll show you what they look like in just a second. This is Charlotte's. 
bracelet and you can see look how tiny they are they're just itty bitty um, and then another beautiful detail on the back this is their birthday on the inside so it's printed on both sides um, and as you can see it's a chain bracelet so you can adjust it down to whatever size you need um, and for our preemies as you can see on Emma it actually fits perfectly and she has room to grow into it um, a little bit more so this is the zero to six months bracelet or newborn to six month size um, and then they go up to five and six hi Bella you're getting your bracelet next I promise I promise it's coming right now okay So we are super excited about these bracelets. I think they're beautiful. I think they're really great quality. Um, and I think they're something that our girls are really gonna appreciate later um, when they can see how small they were um, and something that'll definitely stand the test of time. So I think this is a great option if you're a multiples mom and you're, oh, I, know, I know. I think this is a great option if you're a multiples parent um, and you're looking for a way to tell, tell your identical <laughs> apart um, whether they're twins triplets or more yeah 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 um and you want something that's a little bit safer um so that just in case your kids are putting their mouth their fingers in their mouths which they will likely do um or something that won't get easily lost um this might be a really good option so thanks for the suggestion you guys um we hope you like this video um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't clearly you can tell life is gonna get real interesting <laughs> um make sure you follow us on facebook and instagram if you haven't already and we're gonna go eat <laughs>